no, 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 um. Check it now, Angie. Yes, I see it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I see it. We are live. We are official. <laughs> okay. Where's Vanille? I just accepted her. Vanille, um, can you unmute? Hi, Vanille, uh, we can't see you. Can you turn your video on? Yeah, she had to click start her video. <laughs> yeah, she did, but I'm not sure why I'm not seeing her. Are you seeing me now? Hold on. Yeah, yeah I see her. There we go. Okay. All right, I can see you. Why can't see me? Why can't I get? When I see you, you know, Donna, May, you need to turn me you're, you're missing now. Your camera on. Man, I want to go on your say now. Hello. Hello. Are you using your phone? Are you seeing me, Cleo? No, we're not. No, we can't see you. Gotta, we got to put a video. Just go where the video sign is and click it. Because your video is off, that's why. Are we live on Facebook? Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> Vanille. Vanille, are you cold? You can put your blanket back on, you know. Um, undo your video. Um, undo your video, Donna May. Just click on the video and um it will bring you up because it says your video is off right now. Are you on your phone? There you go. There you go. Yes, yeah, so your video is off now. So where are you? There she is. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna end the phone call. So there we go. So hi, how are you? <laughs> Look at her arresting. Uh, good night. Good night, lady. Good night. How are you? I'm not hearing you guys hear me. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. Hi, Vanilla. Hi. Hi. Okay, where Hi, are you? Hi, Vanilla. Hi, Angie. I am fine. How are you? I am great. Blessed love. Amen to that. Vanilla, checking in with you. Check. One, two, three, check. <coughs> Hi, powerful woman. Powerful woman. Yes, we are. Yes, so we we're are. getting started now. So good night, guys. And uh, we're streaming live on Zoom and Facebook at the same time. And tonight we are here, four beautiful ladies. We are the Women Power uh, Movement and the topic, Women Power Talk, rather. It's a movement that we have created and it's been coming for a long time now. As some of you probably would remember last year sometime I did a live and I was speaking to one of my <laughs> audience telling her that we needed to form a movement. So we have four ladies, myself, Angela, Vanille, and Donna May. So we're gonna kick it off tonight. And like I said earlier, it's the Woman Power Talk and we're about inspiring, uplifting, encouraging, motivating. So that's what we're about. So we actually formed this movement to help everybody who needs help. So we're not singling out anyone, anyone society or whatever. So we're here to help everybody who needs help. It may sound like, oh, you can't help everybody, but guess what? If you need help and you're willing to reach out to us, tune in to us, listen, you may get a nugget here or there or information that you may have needed and didn't know where to get it. Check out Women Power Talk and you may be able to get what you need. So I am going to have each lady introduce themselves 
um, briefly, I mean, we will, this is our introduction uh, talk and it's gonna be like in the form of a conversation, like a forum. So I'll just allow them to introduce themselves very briefly and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of it. So Angela, we'll start with you. Hello guys, my name is Angela Martin. I'm from Evanston, Illinois, originally from Jamaica, but reside in Evanston, Illinois for almost 30 something years. I am married to my wonderful husband, Peter, with five kids and a stepdaughter, six, and total of seven <laughs> grandkids. So here we are trying to empower all four of us empowering women. So you can go ahead and ask us any question you want on the forum on our Facebook Live. Thank you, Angela. And we will go with Donna May. Hi, everyone. I'm washing dishes. <laughs> As you can hear, Cleopatra said, I'm Donna May. Well, woman power is my thing. I've been on this movement. I've been on this journey with this woman power for like four years now. I remember posting it to Facebook and everybody was laughing. The feedback that I got was like, what power woman had, right? But I'm still on it. I'm original from Jamaica. Yeah, I'm Jamaica. Okay? And I'm proud to be. And in this exactly. time, day and age, I'm supposed to be black. I am an upcoming artist. My EP will be released soon. And it's will entitled Woman Power. Because equality is what I believe in. And I don't think we need to fight hard for it. So tune in, log on, listen. I'm sure you will be empowered with the words that we're going to, you know, be sharing. Whether it's a story, whether it's a sentence, whether, you know, um, be empowered. Empower self. Not just listen to the words, but empower self. That's correct. I like that one, Donna May. Thank you very Thank you. much for that. Very good. And now, last but not least, Vanille. Hi, everyone. My name is Vanille Brown, originally from Jamaica now reside in the USA and I am here to motivate, uplift and learn and we can learn from each other. Thank you, Vanille. So we're just gonna let it flow, guys. So um, remember we spoke about letting people know more about us and how we met each other. So we can just delve into it. Anybody wants to start? You know, how did you meet me, Angela? Yeah, the first time I met C, we was working at the hospital together. What's and, the name of the hospital? Uh, North Shore, which is Evanston Hospital, North Shore in Evanston. And she was the public safety. I saw her walked into the, on the unit. They called me to go to the room. And I said, and I looked up, I said, what do they really need me for? And I was there to go assist her with a patient collecting their belongings. And I turned to her and I said to her, you know, you look very professional and you look very beautiful. She said, thank you. I said, I love your hair. She said, thank you. And she smiled and go on about her professional way. And I looked at her, I said, this girl is something else. She is gonna be something and she will be something. And look at her now. She is here uplifting and empowering and inspiring other women to do the same. So that's what she is. She's a very inspiring and uplifting person. Thank you, Angela. And I mean, you saying that now, to be honest, I can't remember that day, that particular incident or situation time, so to speak. But guess what? You know what I've come to realize is that you have to always be your best, do your best, because you never know who is watching you. You never exactly. know who is watching you. So I thank you so much, Angela. I mean, I remember one conversation that we had, you said, you don't think I should become a nurse or you don't think a nurse would fit me because it's not that you're trying to bring me down. But what you said behind that was that I, you, I come off to you as a very powerful, strong woman and you see me, I'm, well, I can allow you to say it yourself, so go ahead. You can go ahead and say, you can, you can go ahead because I won't take the platform from you. I'll give it okay. to you. Okay, I, I was <laughs> saying that I didn't see you as a nurse, as a bedside nursing. I know there's a lot of things that you can do as a bedside nursing by helping someone, but with the way I saw you, 
you are a very powerful, strong person and you can do more with yourself. Like go out there, empower someone, talk to someone, uplift someone. And that's how I see you. I didn't see you at the bedside passing meds and doing all that stuff, but you can still uplift someone by being a nurse and being powerful and uplift someone by being at the bedside by talking to your patient. But that I didn't see for you. Well, you know, that's what life is about. Because like you said, I come off, I know, I know I have to, be to inspire people and to help people because I myself have been through or down many paths that, you know, made me stop and look and realize that, you know what? You're not the only one who's out here probably facing some, some type of hardship or going through a situation. And I believe that we don't have to necessarily reach the top yet where we can pull others along, but at least at somewhere where you realize and you have gotten over your, your, your hurdle per se, then you can help someone else. So you are correct. You are correct. And I mean, in nursing, you never know. Some people, they don't have family members. You never know who's by themselves. They just need someone to, to talk to. So yeah, someone yeah. to talk to and uplift them. So um, Donna May, can you say... How did um, we come into contact? Oh, yeah. You say. Did you hear me? <laughs> I heard you, but like I'm um, washing dishes and I'm going to cook. Oh, how did I met, met you? Well, I met you at a party. That's it, right? I don't even remember. Where's my brain? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> but um, yeah, I met. Cleo at a party and the person who I am, I'm very, I, I love to mot I'm, I'm a feminist. I don't care who wants to, to bash that, but I am. I not, I have a lot of male friends, but I love to look out for women. So I met Cleo and I don't know, some conversation came up and I gave her some conversation that had some information <laughs> that she was looking for. I don't know if she was even looking for it, but I gave her some advice also. From that day, the next day was a phone call. And I think from that day, I haven't seen her in the flesh, but you know, the heart is always there and the spirit. So yeah, that's how we met, right, Cleo? That is correct. Yeah. And yeah. How did, you, how did you? How did you meet me? Well, it's the same thing. Um, at the party and the we were having a conversation. And if you don't mind, I, can I say what the conversation is about? But of course, domestic violence. Right. So we were talking about, you know, I guess we were talking, you know, we met and it eventually led to, you know, us getting into some deeper conversation. And I realized that at the time I was a domestic violence victim. And she also said, you know what, I am too. And then you know how that is. <laughs> the conversation grew from there and we started to share what happened to us and you know, she was turning me down the path where, you know, I could get help and all of that. So definitely, I mean, for it, I mean, that's like over what? Um, that's since 2013 and now it's 2020, 2013. Yeah, seven years. Is it you to share? I don't remember the Yeah. I know years. we're having a, a conversation. Yeah. That, that's good, yeah. Because that's what I do. I, I love, you know, because my mom was, a victim of you know domestic violence, so I love to share. It was nice meeting you, though. Have I ever told you that before? Sure, <laughs> but it's never. It's it's always a good thing to hear again, right? <laughs> and so I met Angie yesterday, and I met Vanille yesterday. How I met Angie? I was in my house. I was washing the dishes. I went out to the living room, and I saw a call from Cleo. And I called back, and Angie was on the line, and you know, just a verbal connection. And how I met you know, yesterday as well, talking on the phone. No, talking on Zoom. And I saw her beautiful face, her smile, and I love your tone of voice. Did I tell you that? No, I didn't. I told Cleo today. I love your tone. <laughs> Thanks. So that's how I met these three beautiful ladies. But it seems like it's 10 years ago. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not, it's, it, it's natural. Yeah, exactly. So, Vanille, it's your turn. I'll allow you to take the floor. 
<laughs> no, you have a voice, so we need to hear your voice. And Donna May, she just said what she said, okay? Yes, so I'm not a talker. Well, you just did. <laughs> well, you're going to have to be a talker because you're on Facebook Live, you're on Zoom, and you're on a watch party. So you have to be natural. Be yourself because we are here to be ourselves. And that's what we're here for, to uplift and empower. So here we go. Starting oh, with Cleo. Oh, I met Cleo. I met Cleo 10 years ago on Facebook, actually. Um, we were mutual. We were... We met through um, a friend of mine and also it was a friend of hers. So, um, you know, we were both commenting under the post and I realized that um, she was from, I heard she said that she lived, she lives in Evanston, Illinois. And then I messaged her and I said to her, where in Evanston, Illinois you live? Because that's where I used to reside as well. And from that we started communicating via um, Facebook and then Facebook led to us communicating through, um, we exchanged numbers and we started communicating by telephone. And then we actually met for the first time in 2008 when I was in Florida on a vacation. So that is how we met. I met um, Angela on Thursday um, through a telephone conversation. And then I met her again yesterday on Zoom. And I met Donna, Mer Donna May on Zoom yesterday. So I met these three beautiful ladies via um, verbal communication before I actually met one um, physically two years ago. And I'm anticipating to meet the other two physically, hopefully in the near future. Yes, we sure will. Oh, yes. Yes, Cleo, could you say how you met Angie and how you met Vanille? I'm not hearing you. Cleo! Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. So, thank you so much, Vanille. Well, you gotta say how you met Angie. It's not about you. You gotta say how you met Angie and how you met Vanille. Okay. So, yeah. um, in addition to what uh, Angela said, we worked at North Shore University Health System. That's a, a great, a big hospital in um, Illinois. Well, Evanston. It's in more than one different cities, like Skokie whatever whatever so i was working at the hospital as a public safety officer you know we had to respond to calls all of that where if there's any calls or a missing child anything like that anything if they like um someone comes on the compound trying to threaten anyone with a gun or anything we had to respond so i was that person so i took my job very seriously and um i took it you know i'm a very professional person when it comes to my job so like she said, there are times when if a patient comes in and say, for example, the patient has to go do a surgery and they have belongings. And for example, if the family member or members are not there to collect them right away, or sometimes, like I said earlier, some patients, they don't have any one, no friends, no family. So we would have to go to the room to do an inventory to take their belongings and secure it until they recover. So technically... I worked alongside the nurses, the doctors, and you know all the other staff members. So she was just one of them. And it's so funny. I think probably what even connected us was the fact that she's also Jamaican. And you may not know, but all four ladies, I think they've already said it, but I'll just reiterate, we're all Jamaican. So that's even something that I was a great thing, right guys? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, we always run into each other. And then it's so funny, my sister came from Jamaica, ended up being a patient care tech also at the same hospital. She and Angie, they became friends. Angie, not knowing at that time that she was my sister. So I guess one day, Angie was just telling her about some girl in public safety, how she used to admire this girl. She's very neat. She looked like a real cop, blah, 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 blah. You know, and I guess by her talking to my sister Minerva, she, Minerva, showed her a picture and she's like this girl you're talking to Angela was like how comes you have a picture of her technically she's like 
she's my sister. So, hey, you know, that's why, like I said earlier, we have to be very careful, you know, of the things that we do and how we treat yeah. people, you know? So that's why we're here again as the woman power talk, the movement that we have formed, we're here, you know, not to put down anyone and we're not looking at any particular group to say, we're only gonna help the old people. No, because the young people nowadays, they're the ones I think, we have to start from the bottom to the top. Now, I'm a talker guys. So as it relates to Vanille, we met on Facebook over a decade ago. I was in Illinois at the time and I had a friend on Facebook. Oh my God, that guy is so funny. <laughs> and, um, he always posts some stuff and I saw this girl and I don't know, I don't know how we really like who sent a friend to press whatever, but I guess there was a conversation from the guy and we were all commenting under his post. And from there, and then when we started talking, like, you know, getting to know each other, here we go again. She had similar life experiences like myself where you know being a single mother and you have to be struggling or you have to be hustling you know putting yourself aside to put the kids first and believe me her story was exactly my story going to bed sometime without food uh, come on guys you all know that we're not telling things that you may not have an experience or someone you know experience so you know, we connected. And like I said, it's not because of that we connected. We didn't know who each other, each, each of us were. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that, I don't know, it was just weird, uh -huh, if I can use that word. Yeah, to know someone, to know their story. And also, we have been communicating virtually until the latter part of 2018 we finally met face to face can you believe that guys and it, you would not know you would have you'd have thought that we you know we we were like you know more than just on the, the facebook or the telephone you know sorry about that guys so that's that with vanilla now donna well i said it about donna merity yeah so here we are you know well, that's great. The fact that you had met before in the flesh, you know, that's why it's a spiritual thing. The spirit, you know? Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. Because that's what I was about to say. In, in, in this life, sometimes when you get connected with some people at first, you may be wondering why or, you know, what's the reason behind it. But then when it gets deeper, you'll be like, oh my God. It's just like the other night when we were on the phone, right? When I called Angie and told her that, look, Remember last year we said we were going to do this? Well, it's now time that we get the foot out there and step. What did you say to me, Angela? I said, yep, exactly what we was talking about before because I remember our conversation when we was on the phone talking and we wanted to form something. And I said, let's work on it. And you called me yesterday. I was not going to pick up my phone yesterday, honestly, because... My shoulder was in pain and I'm sitting there and I look at the phone and I said, why is he calling me? Should I answer or should I not answer? And when I answer, God said, answer that phone. Maybe something important. I did. And that's what she was talking about. She wanted us to come together as a group. And then she told me about Vanille and about Daname and their description and how they are. And I said, wow. That's a very powerful team and we all should get together and she linked us all together. So that's when I met Vanille and Donna May yesterday. I hear Donna May voice. I hear Vanille voice. I said, wow, such powerful, empowering, uplifting and inspiring ladies. And I said, wow, I am so happy and I'm so blessed to be a part of this team with these wonderful ladies. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. I mean, what you guys, I know we may have a few people to watch now, but better believe me, guys, that what you see here today is just, uh, I don't know, for what is to come, believe you me, just be- Just an introduction. Yes, this is just an introduction to you guys, to the world at large. And this is just the start of what is to come you know um where we're looking we're looking to have you know a non-for-profit organization where we're not only dealing with that in the united states we're going to have people on different grounds in different locations of the world we already have some connections 
and we only can expect to grow to get bigger and better okay so you know each time we come on here we're gonna have different things going so it's not just gonna, only gonna be like a talk show you know we're gonna have nights when we have game nights the audience you guys can join us you know we'll give you the information and you you can feel free you know this is no time to be shy or be like oh i don't want to do that because like i said some people are lonely some people need you know to be engaged so to speak so there's going to be a lot of things coming guys so you can look out for that you know we'll be talking about spirituality you know the bible you know and even though we know certain topics are controversial we still have to face them you understand we you know we talk about family units you know, what are you suffering from today? The things are you, do you need any help? Because we're also going to form, like I said, the foundation where we have funding and we ourselves, just to let you guys know, we are very transparent. All the ladies that you see here are very um, genuine, very transparent, very loyal, trustworthy. Okay. So there are times when we may be asking for funds as well. We will put out, we are going to form a cash. We, well, we actually have a cash app for the group, not just for an individual. And what I actually plan to do, let's say we have three people who donated. We're going to keep it so transparent. Like we have a list of all the names. We're not going to leave out anybody. I mean, I know some people wants to remain anonymous. That's okay. But that is how transparent we're going to be. So we know that whatever money we collect, you know, can see where it's going. We don't need no money for ourselves because if we are going to start it ourselves, well, we're going to start by putting our own money in first because we're leaders. So we're leading by example, if you get what I'm trying to say. Now, you know, we're going to be doing like back to school stuff, you know, people who are homeless, hungry, um, health and wealth. We're going to have like financial analysts and, and advisors on this show. We're gonna have like pastors, better believe lawyers. Um, if you need help, you know, people who can give you ideas for, you know, whatever um, information you need. People who are mentors, um, you name it. Like, you know, realtors, we're gonna have them here to answer any questions that you probably need help because, you know. Yes, and if they can't be there, they could do one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, exactly. One-on-one -on -one. One -on -one is very important. And another thing, see, we have to remember that people need to know that we all are business entrepreneurs, upcoming business entrepreneurs. We all have our own business background that we have that we are working on. So we all are here to support each other and to support other business out there. Yes, we're here to grow. We're growing as well. And let me tell you, we have an artist in the group. <laughs> So with that being yes, said, with that being said, with that being said, Donna May, you know our theme song. I understand you. I understand your work ethic, and I understand that you know you are a very principled and disciplined person in character. But I would love for you to give the audience at least you know a, a piece of your talent to let them know that we're a very diversified group please. Oh, thank you so much. What's a great introduction, but in the near future. <laughs> in the near future. I'm not using my computer. Yeah, in the near future. So much. So we're not getting, not, not even um, acapella, nothing? No? No. Are you serious? I'm <laughs> green. <laughs> Listen, put on the song. The song is not gonna eat for you, okay? So if oh, you this, that's why you I turn the computer off. So I could play because it could play at any time. And you oh. know what? I'm glad you I'm glad you um you brought that up. You know, I was go I'm a ch I was a church girl. I was a girl going to church. How my how this musical thing started, I wanted to do it ever since I was little. I remember when I you know I got up in the class and the teacher was like Oh, so what do you want to be, Cleopatra? What do you want to be, Angie? And, you know, Cleopatra would say, I want to be a teacher. And Angie would be like, I want to be a lawyer. <laughs> and, you know, he would be like, oh, I want to be a nurse. Well, Donna made them up and be like, I want to be a singer. You know, everybody laughed at me in the class. Wow. That's not a career. And 
this way I was shut down because going to high I was I used to go to school. I don't know many of you guys know Holy Child High School in Jamaica. So I used right. to go to school when I went to the high school and I was the choir leader. Career. You know the teacher Miss Campbell. Oh my God, how could I? I, I can't. Forget Miss Campbell. She just loved. You know she loved. And I said, you know what I'm gonna do? And let me tell you, from I think I was like 13, 14. Years. But when I got to like 21, so I told my mom I wanted to play. I got, my dad had a, uh, what you call that? A record, a record store. A record oh, shop? Yeah. 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 So my dad had one. So we used to play with his things. So I used to love records. And I started buying my records. And I told my mom, I want to play. You know, I want to be a mix. The lady said, what's wrong with you? Only four of us at night time. <laughs> The lady said, what are you talking about? Drive a trailer, pick up your boat. You know, I was going to hold a job commercial at the time, and I said, oh my God, this is crazy. Because, you know, my passion was always the music. Right. right. You know, years came by, and I said, you know, let me, let me pick it up. Let me, let me take it back up. I took it back up, went to Jamaica, started writing, started doing my stuff, then, you know, all sorts of exploiting. Oh, Start with the men in the studio and all of that stuff. And you know what? I'm not doing this. So I start going to church, you know, like every single week. So I went to church. I said, you know what? The second time I went to the church, I said, I'm going to sing. So I sang the song, and I'm telling you, everybody was in tears. And they were like, Marsha, why are you sitting down there? I said, what? I just feel like singing. So then I became, you know, the, what do you call that? I mean, I remember not in Bona Church. <laughs> Last year, we stopped the church. <laughs> praise and worship. I became a praise and worship leader, right? So I was I was doing my thing, and I love, you know, I would do my soul loves, but let me tell you, when I'm, when they say I minister, I minister through songs. Whenever I'm singing a song, That's right. I have to cry. I have to cry. And everybody's crying, because I can't just sing the songs that, you know, not meaningful to me. Right, so right. that's how it really, it really, you know, got into me with just not being shy and getting out there in church. And after that, I became the president for the woman's, what do you call that again? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now going bad. Now really I'm going bad. It's not good. For the, the, the WME. I became the president for the WME. And in the church, I realized women don't really get to express themselves, you know, too much. Mm -hmm. That's the biblical, much. Because, sorry to interrupt, biblical I mean, people believe that women supposed to be submissive and don't talk. So I think that's where that comes from. Yeah, and I think that belief, the only one belief that we should have is belief in the spirit of God. So, you know, those things I keep knocking down. And I'm like, why? No, but you have other women who are, you know, they have, they have, um, positions too and I realized women are so submissive they're so they always want to belong so I'm like no ma'am the power that I feel inside me being a woman yes I think more than what I see we have so much to exclude it's, it's unbelievable so that's how I got the thing no so I started in the church in the, with the WMU with the woman power and they were in the church like Sister Marshall, why am I with this woman power thing? I say, you stay there, don't use that power where God gave you with it. And yes. sit down next and listen to people mm -hmm. and listen to scriptures and don't use that power that God gave you, you know? Exactly. So I, I had a few a bigger, bigger women than me, older, in my little circle. I'm not that young anymore. Yeah. So that's how, that's how it really started. And I started on Facebook too. I know Clea saw that and be like, Yo, the girl that's serious with our woman poet. <laughs> yeah, no, but for real. But you see, what I'm saying is that it's so funny. The audience who are, the, the audience that's watching, guys, it is so funny that, remember, you hear how Donna May expresses herself and tell you from how long now she's been having this woman, woman or woman power idea, right? Remember, no, I myself, no, 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 it's not an idea. The movement, all my songs right. are for woman power. Right. I know all of them. And I do go to churches and I speak to kids and you know fellowship. And no, I it's coming on. You're gonna bring it on live right now. 
and I'm thankful for that. You are welcome. I am so elated with you calling because that's my name on IG, Donna May underscore Woman Power. I do it on Facebook. You know, it, yeah, it's not an idea for you. Trust me. Exactly, and you like I was trying to on the you and Jen Vanille is expounding on this woman power movement. Trust me. Right, and it's all started from our own individual. Um, you know um what what we wanted to do our own individual desire so to speak you know and it's just it's just it's just amazing because i'm not going to say weird anymore it's just amazing to see that individually we had the same desires so like i said how can this this can only get bigger and better believe you me because we all have this, we, we share the same vision you know we're gonna have a web page it's already being created guys where you know, um, there'll be blogs on the page, like anyone who wants to promote their business on there, you're going to have that opportunity as well. Um, there's going to be like inspirational, um, uh, you know, inspirational memos, whatever you call it on there. Someone just needs a word of um, inspiration. We're going to have merch that we're going to be selling like cups, woman power talk cups, t-shirts, shirts, um, you name it. Like I said, this is going to be so big that we probably, you know, you ever hear about when we ask the Lord to enlarge in our territory? This is just a start. Bit. So get ready, guys. Get ready. Angie Vanille. Vanille, Angie. I love that. I love that from the Jabez prior. Lord, bless us indeed and enlarge your territory that we, yes, I love that. And the thing is, just like you said, um, we are here to uplift, empower, and we are also going to be starting a podcast, which I was talking to the ladies about a, po a podcast, which is called Anchor. So we're going to record stuff on the Anchor podcast and share it out there on social media and on the web pages and what we need to do. Because we are not just here for show. We are here to uplift, empower, inspire, give someone a word, lift them up when they are having a bad day. Regardless of what's going on in their life, they can look and say, well, wow, this really uplifts me today and I really appreciate you. And that's what I get every day from my um, quote on my, my Facebook that someone messaged me and tell me, I, they appreciate me because I uplift them today. And that word was for them because the day that they was having, I made their day. Yep. So that's what I have. Yeah. I get that so much. It's a nice feel though. Nice. <laughs> Vanille. Is Vanille still with us? I'm here. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not much of a talker. I'm more of a listener, but I'm very good at giving advice. And, um, you know, some of the stories that I have, that I um, share, it's, um, it's more to uplift you because I am talking from a place of experience. So if you, you get to know me, then you understand the platform you understand where I am coming from. So I'm um, as like like we said, we are here to uplift, empower, and we learn from each other's experience. Because you can be learning from me and I can be learning from you as well. Quite yeah, I mean we're no experts either, guys. Like Vanille rightly put it. I, I love that Vanille. Yes. We're not licensed um psychologist or a psychiatrist <laughs> yeah go ahead Vanilla. like you 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 put it so right like you put it so perfect like you know we are just us like you know individuals like yourself but we just feel that even what you see what's going on in this world today especially to our own black people we we need to stop being silent you know, we need to stop being silent. We need to, you know, whatever ideas we had, it's time to give birth to them. You know, we've been pregnant with these ideas and these feelings for too long. It's time to birth it. So speak out. Who 
who needs to speak out, speak out, who needs to act, act. That's how I see it. It's it's about yeah. time. Yeah. And the only thing that we're gonna use to empower each other are you know our stories. Yeah. So, you know, that's all we have to really empower you, just the words, but you have to get up and empower yourself, as I said before. It says prior without action. It's nothing, it's dead. You know, That's faith without works dead. It's nothing. It's just laying right there, same place where you think That's it's a... and you know, one thing too, some people when you say prayer, they believe in that, oh, it's a special way for prayer. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's just words of empowerment. It's just words of empowerment. That's what it is. Exactly. But if you have to put the words to action, it makes no sense. And we have to remember that prior doesn't just start from anywhere start small you can start your prior small and then end it big it doesn't matter how you pray and it doesn't matter what you pray god answers all prior he don't just answer um any prior he answer a little prior he answer big prior so pray from your heart and pray from faith. your heart and where you're from and prayer without is nothing nothing yep so um um keep going guys i'm gonna see if i can get someone keep going angie are you talking no i'm not I vanille just... have the mic okay keep going guys. Oh, i was saying prayer without faith is nothing you can't be pr- getting up every day and you're praying you're praying praying and you know, whatever you're praying about, you're not believing. Because if you're not having that faith, then, you know, that prayer is not going to be, uh, um, you know, you're not going to be seen or getting any result from that prayer. So, you know, you have to have faith as well. Like I said, prayer without faith is nothing. And sometimes when you pray for stuff, and it, it does not manifest, it doesn't mean that, you know, Father God is not hearing you. On his time, not yours, like not yours, on his, his time. On his time, yeah. And sometimes we pray for stuff, but it's not for us. Mm-hmm. Wait at the time. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you know, this, I think this is a great thing for us all because I, I need more motivation. So hearing other person's stories, I I, I know it's gonna I, I know it's gonna motivate me more. We're going to motivate. We'll be motivating. You know, you, know is, you know what is my motto? We know less than what we think we know. You know, I, I love that because sometimes yeah. sometimes you're telling some other people things and they're like, oh, I know, I know. When you know that they don't know exactly that yeah. is so true. So true. yes I, yeah i know i i know i know less than i think i know trust me mm-hmm. or you have some people who just start timid and don't want nobody knows that nobody to know that they're going through something you know i mean i understand that everybody is not an extrovert you know what i'm saying but you know sometimes we need to say that we need help you know, sometimes we make our pride and our ego get the better of us, and now is not the time. We need help. Raise your hand and say, "Hey." Yes, yeah, some people doesn't sh- share their story, and if you don't share your story, how do we know that you need help? You have to speak up. You have to say that you need help. What you need, so we are here to help. Yes, and in turn, you're helping us too. Yep. Yep. Each one, each one teaches one. That's how I, that, that's how it is. Uh, yep. So, I mean, I don't know if anyone has anything else to say. Are we missing anything on our introduction run? I mean, we waiting for that song. That's all I know. Yeah, me too, because I want to hear it. You can play it in the background, you know, Donna May. Oh, my <laughs> Crying, you gotta believe in everything that you're doing. 
That's right. Listen, you hear that melodious voice? Oh my yes, God. Yes, beautiful. Like we said, she's an art, upcoming <laughs> artist, okay? So we have a mixture here. Oh my God. <laughs> so she's going to give us um, a sample of what her yeah, talent is. Yeah, just give like. us a rendition. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm here. I'm very, very sorry today. Give us a rendition of your song, even if it's the I'm first rendition. part. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with her. I just did. No. No, uh-uh, that's nothing. No. Woman, don't stop trying. You gotta believe in everything that you're doing. The dream has got to turn into reality, yeah. Don't stop fighting. You gotta believe in everything. Oh, oh. I'm still going. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Can you can you get at least a verse and a chorus, please? I am not. I, I am not. I I am just like I just do anything I want to do. Okay. So <laughs> that's that's not nice though. But it is. Yeah. I just be myself, and I'm jovial. I'm always happy. Oh, like always happy. There's, I never. I don't think I ever had a bad day. I'm always happy. You know, I might have bad hours, but not yeah. a bad day. Yeah. Right. Right. I don't go to my bed. Like I don't think nobody could even get upset. The only persons getting me upset, my kids. Yeah. And it's gonna wear off. No, nobody. Yeah. So nobody not gonna hear me arguing with anybody else right now. And if no, but but that's me. So. I am gonna be the odd one, and I'm, and I'm so sorry. I know you, lady. I know you guys are lady. <laughs> <laughs> you see how connected you see how, you see how connected we are, and we just met yes, I just met these two beautiful ladies yesterday, and you see how the connection is so so strong. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Dana May is so funny. Listen, I just want to hear that song. God knows. God knows. That's all I'm sitting here. I'm still waiting. <laughs> I, li I like this song that she just sang, though. I like it. I love it. I yes. love it. Love her, it. Voice, love her voice is so inspiring and uplifting. Oh, wow. To God be the glory. Yeah, he's God be the glory. Go, oh, Angie. Come on, girl. Great things he had done. Amen. Amen. And um, if I could go back to, um, I don't think if it was clear, Angie, that was saying, you know, if there is a problem or, you know, if you want to talk about something, now is not the time to be, sh to shy away from it. You know, let me just add it that um, it's not about being an introvert or an extrovert. Sometimes it's just um, not everyone is comfortable about expressing certain things because we're yeah. from a culture where we were taught to suppress our feelings. That's true. So that, That's true. That, that, right, that, that kind of have a psychological or a mental effect on us. So if we are not comfortable talking about something, you know, it's not that, you know, oh, we're supposed to just open up and talk about it freely. You know, it takes time. Yep, it does. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. And we just, we just have to understand where that person is coming from to say, you know, maybe I am not ready to talk about this yet. But that is what we're here for. For. you know if Sorry, guys. someone who is Sorry, listening God. to us you know hear somebody else's story and say you know that sounds that sounds somewhat similar to mine you know maybe that would give them the courage to open up more you know and start expressing or talk about what they are going through or what yeah. they have been through yeah quite so mm -hmm. very true yeah yeah, that is true, Vanille, you know, that for real, you know, that is so true because I mean, even though some of us, like you said, maybe extroverts where we classify that, you still at some point, you'll be like, should I say to this person or, you know, you pick and choose, you actually do, a, you, you pick right. and choose. Right. Yeah. 
I'm an introvert, right? I don't have a problem expressing myself. You know, I'll talk about things, but not everything I'll talk about all at once. It takes time for me to open up, you know, about stuff. Yeah, because you have to be comfortable to talk about what exactly. you are expressing. You can't just exactly. come up and yeah, and because just, growing you up, you have to feel comfortable and be in your own comfort zone to exactly. talk about what you are expressing. I exactly. am both. I'm introvert, extrovert. I can be outspoken and I can tell you like it is. A lot of people doesn't like the way I am at times, and I know that for a fact because yeah. I'm outspoken because I tell you like it is. And if you don't like what I'm said, I'm sorry. You just have to keep on moving. I'm a Leo, so that's the. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry about what I'm saying. <laughs> you just brash. Yeah. No, I'm, I'll say it, you know, because I am you not going to, like I am not going to think about your feet. I am not going to think about your feelings. Exactly. While my feelings are being hurt because yes. I am number one. Yes, because if so you do I something am, wrong, if you do something yes. wrong, I'm going to tell you that you're wrong. And if you yeah. do it right, then we'll talk about it. We can talk about it. And I'll tell you about yourself, what you did wrong and what you didn't do wrong. Exactly. Exactly. Because I if we can't tell, thing. if we can't say to some... It's really good, Vanilla. That's a very good thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. If we can't tell somebody, well, you know, you're wrong for saying this or whatever, then we're a hypocrite. Yeah. You know? And you can, and you can accept feedback from someone if you did something wrong to someone and they come to you and say, you know, Angie, you know, you did something to me yesterday and it wasn't right. I'm there to listen to the feedback that you are telling me. And if, well, and if I know that I did something wrong, I'm going to apologize. If it hurts your feelings, I'm going to apologize. But I will let you know why I said what I said. Listen, I'm not going to talk because me yeah, personally. Yeah, me know all you is already. And I don't know, but it's so funny, you know, it is so funny. I don't know, like when I talk, sometimes people think I'm aggressive and deep down with, within me, I'm not really aggressive. I think I'm more firm. And like you yeah. said, it's like, I say what I say without an apology. And especially when I know I'm talking about something that is, is so, you know what I'm saying? Like I yeah. will, one thing, you know, that they should know is that for me, if I don't know what I'm talking about, I won't stand tall. But if I do know what I'm talking about, then you can tell me otherwise. I'm just going to say what I have to say. Sometimes, you know, people used to tell me that, Cleo, oh my God, you need to take time, you know, because you're hurting people's feelings. But for me, I mean, I don't know professionally, but I'm just me. Like, I don't sugarcoat. I don't take time to polish it. It's like, it just come out. Brrr, it just rolls out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I just, uh, a young lady said to me at work one day, she bring me to my manager, former manager, that I was, and, and we both was in the office. And my manager said to her, no, Angela is not rude. She's outspoken and she's telling you something for your own good. So you need to listen to what she's telling you because this is what I told her to let you guys know. And she's telling you exactly what I tell her to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's some some sometimes it's just a tone. The tone, you know, comes off aggressive. Yeah. Sometimes your tone it comes off as as rude and yeah, I guess. For me, I don't have a fine voice. So it's not what you're people. saying, how you say? Is yeah. that delivery? It's delivery. Just like me. Sometimes people will look like me and say, Oh my god, you look so mean. Smile. It's the same but, thing know? with me, Vanilla. Yeah. I don't look like someone who you can, you know, I don't look approachable, but when you get to know me, you're like, oh, Down my to God. Earth. It's Down just to earth. Earth. Yeah. She's just the sweetest person. Why you always look so, you know, Americans would say, you're just always mean mugging. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, I think I have a strict face and even if I'm not hurting or I'm not unhappy i just have a street and i i always get that too so it's like i have to kind of consciously put on a smile like a, a smile not really plastic but kind of put on a smile if you want to say plastic but it's not it's not fake i'm because i'm genuine you understand what i'm saying i am a genuine person and if i don't like you or if i don't like what you're doing you're definitely going to know i cannot pretend so 
my face, I always get that too when people say, Oh, you just yeah. don't clean yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm walking and, you know, I'm pa passing a mirror and I'm like, Jesus, Bunny, the woman can't feel me in mug, so I won't trouble you today. But it's just nothing is wrong with you. You have to have you know, I am good. Yep, it's just the expression I have. You know, I don't know. You know. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, have me. I have no filter. Uh -huh. So people, if you see me on the I have yeah, no I'm going to tell you how it is. I'm a no-nonsense person. Yeah. I'm a happy person, as I said before, and I'm going to treat you with respect. I love to respect. Okay. So yes. respect. And when I meet, if I meet, if I don't even know you, I like to respect strangers. I'm kinder. Yeah. I think I'm kinder to strangers than even sometimes with my family. Okay. Oh, okay. you know, if anybody rub me the wrong way, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna tell you. And yes, yes. If, if I, I if, when I'm in my feelings, it's when yeah. I'm in my feelings and I express myself. Mm -hmm. If you come tomorrow, if you come ten years, if you come twenty years, five years, I'm not gonna apologize. I don't apologize. No, because you know, because you don't say what you say intentionally. No, I, right? I wanted to say it. I wanted to say it. So why should I apologize? Exactly. You know, we have to be accountable for what we do. And yeah. sometimes, we, sometimes we, we leave self out of it because we have to be ourselves no matter what. So even if it's a bad day, it's still you. It's, yeah. still, it's, good, it's still you. So you have to embrace it. But you know what? Donna, no said, uh, she said, uh, Donna May said something very profound just now because I realized that I can't change people because I've had my own situations where you would want the person to be this like they had some really they have some really bad ways but like she just said it's very important it's just who the person is so it's either you love them for who they are you just leave them alone if you can't deal with them you know what I'm saying so she said something exactly. very profound. exactly you have to have friends in your people in your circle and friends who can tell you that you're wrong Exactly, and, and uplift you, and tell you, and can give you feedback exactly. about yourself and what you said. Yep. That's the kind of ladies I have in my circle, and I and I am so happy to have two more ladies um added to my circle, Vanille and Donna May, because Thank that's you. how I felt about you guys yesterday. Thank you. And, and let me just uh, go ahead. You know, I love loving people. Uh, to it. I, I, um, love, I love loving people. I just like to be nice. You have to be nice to people. Yep, you have to. You don't know what somebody's oh, going to give. You, know what? you give out. You get back what you give out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, you know so I've been at a place, right? And I've been there like a, a year and six months. And they gave me supervised. It was DSW, the shoe store. They gave me a position. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know I was going to get it. But I know my work ethics. I know my work all. And, and, it, and I'm not a perfectionist. I don't want to be a perfectionist perfectionist but I love to do things good whatever I'm doing I put my all and you know what nobody spoke to me after that day for two months wow. every morning when I go in because I have this little thing about you like, wow. good morning and nobody answers I don't care tomorrow I'm going to tell you good morning again because I don't know you know what you're going through that day or how you're feeling so I don't force my gestures on people so it, I went for two months nobody told me and there was what? a Jamaican girl there shooting a lady, that was her name. And uh, for three weeks, she didn't speak to me. And I'm saying, so one morning I went into the break room and she said, good morning, Donna. I was like, why are you telling me good morning right now? <laughs> Is something happening last night? She was like, what? <laughs> but then I was like, what, what your, what you, look what you, uh, exactly. What's your what's your holding on? What you what you think you're holding on to? I get over it already. Oh wow. Wow. Oh. I was like, wow, yeah. I'm hearing me you now. I said, what was that? me my hypocrite? You have to be a hypocrite. Sometimes we're a hypocrite. <laughs> I was like, being a hypocrite. I was like, what are you talking about? What happened? She was mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah. some of the thoughts them that are real. So you not talk to me for you know me getting to the Jamaica now. Some say you don't talk to me for three. But Donna, I've been here for so long. Look how much years I said, but Nadine, I didn't do it. It's not like I did it. But they must understand, so they never they do the people that work for true. And so when I go to meetings, I'm gonna can't say my mouth, can't fly. My yeah. sister's my old fridge. I don't have, I don't keep no nothing. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And yeah. She was, they don't talk in the meetings and stuff, but I speak up. I yeah. tell them what to be done and what I don't see happening. Because you want my work to be easy, you know. Me want to go work and it's easy. So when you leave and you leave all things, you know, on yeah. zone, and you got your schedule and you got everything, you come on. So I mean, the, the girl frightened me, the girl said, well, you hung up on me get over it. <laughs> wow. wow. Thing is, is, you know, the worst part of me, even the managers, and they're the ones who had to train me. You know me walk up in the job like that, you got, no, I couldn't be with it. I had to go. Because yeah. friend, for two months, if it was just like a week, you know, the general manager came. No, let me tell you what happened one day. Too. One day I came in the, in the store, but, but I don't even know. There was a white guy, Joe. He was the general manager. No, he was the district manager. And he came in and the girls in the locker room, they were like, oh, that man is so prejudiced. He don't speak to black people and whatever. But then I turned and I remember I'm coming down and the man was like, you looking for something? <laughs> and I'm saying, that man, he just spoke to me. The girl himself, read me. We've been here for five years, six years. And that man never said anything. Yeah. Oh. Yes, because of the personality, you know, right? That's so true. It depends how you come off and how you carry yourself. Thank and you. How, how you be. If I to a room and a bunch of people is in a room, I'm going to say good morning. I'm not going to say uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to just say good morning. If you want to ask them, if you want to answer, it's up to you. I know I, said, I, I know I walked in and I said good morning because my grandmother learned me, grow me up to have manners. Thank you. And you know, it's something that I do, like when I enter into a store and I see a store associate or somebody, as soon as I enter that store, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's me. Yep. Because, you know, as I mentioned that vanilla going into store. Do you know how many times just because of my approach, like, um, you know, like um, Angela said, you know how many times I go in the store and I'll be like, I want something and I ask for a discount and they'll be like, we're family, you know what I mean? And I get my discount and get out of the store, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, just to our viewers to let you guys know, you know, we're here talking and I'm sure by us just talking in general on our introduction talk, you'll get to know us, you know, you'll get to know more about us. So I think it's a good thing where the ladies, we're all expressing ourselves. So you get to know more about us. So, yeah. Okay, ladies. So we're going to let Dana May finish her cooking and see, would you close us out at nine o'clock in prior? Okay, sure. Gracias, senorita. So Dana, what are you cooking? Shrimp and bami and cho cho wow. and afro. I don't know what is cho cho. <laughs> what, what what did she say? Who said I don't know what is cho cho? Me? No care. If you said cho cho, said cho cho, but no cho cho. No no cho cho. They never said a cho cho. They say cho cho. They call it coyote. They call it coyote. Did she say? Did she say? Did she say? Did she say cho cho? Wasn't that yeah, what she said? Cho -cho. Yeah, cho -cho. I was trying to American thing. I said cho cho. Well, I don't know what's a cho cho. That's so more British. <laughs> that's so more British. Isn't it? It's a bit British, eh? Cho cho. Is it? Is it? Got, got some cho cho. Some uh, macro. Bammy and um, the shrimp that I'm going to look after, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Oh you guys are so funny <laughs> but that's what we're about like i said we have each of us we're unique in our own way and we bring something very special and unique to the table and as the viewers will see that, you know we have a fun side we have a serious side we have a business side we have a professional side we have every kind of sides <laughs> see yeah. What is so, your what is your so business that you have that you have going? Oh, thank you for asking, Angela. So the business that I currently am involved in, 
Uh, it's pharmacy. It ha I'm an influencer for pharmacy, and that's F A R M A C I. And we sell natural products ranging from perfumes. And this does not only include women, this does not only involve women, but men as well. We sell stuff like for facial issues, like men's beard, um, perfumes, uh, soaps, like aloe vera products, um, face wash, body wash. We have a very bomb lotion. It's a sugar, brown sugar lotion. Oh my God, that one goes like hot bread, but like it's a whole variety. And they're also coming with very soon, like coffee and other stuff. So mm, I, I post good. sometimes on Facebook. I don't know if anybody get, you know, go on the, the link. I, think I, I went, I'll go on your link. And also um, something that these guys may not know. I'm just waiting for my license to become uh, in like to sell life insurance and anything to financial wealth to, you know, um, grow your wealth. So I'm just waiting for my license on that. And I'm waiting for my nursing license as well. So, you know, um, there's so many, so many things in the making right now as it relates to me. And I'm also um, trading stocks. So if anybody needs any help trading stocks, I mean, the list that I know because I have people who I'm working under, working alongside. If you're interested, because I'm sure everybody wants to make money just sitting on their butt, like how we see these rich people living these days. So that's yeah, every side hustle count. Exactly. And yeah. as you guys can see, my shirt says, it works. it works. So mine is a health and wellness company called It Works. It's a Christian faith-based business. And that's what my website is all about. And my business is all about is health and wellness. I sell stuff for men, women, anyone all over. I just, do, I just doesn't sell stuff for just women only. I sell for men and women also. What about you, Vanille? Do you have any business going? Well, I, my husband and I had a business and that business was um, with a very reputable brand. The, however, it was hacked into, so I can't talk much about it because okay, it's a understand. Mm -hmm. We understand and we know that um, Donna May is in the music industry. And she has her own, she's an entrepreneur other than that too. So we all allow her to. Okay. Amazing. Oh yeah. Oh, Vanilla, I like me a simio. Oh, let me see a light bulb. Yeah, hold on. Okay, that's true. Oh. <laughs> she's cooking. No, I'm not cooking. I'm getting the music for you guys. Oh, yes. Music and then the clothes are the prior. You see in the chairs, they're all full with clothes. That's, you know, because at a laundromat, we can't fold. And I don't have the privilege to live out of, out of the city. <laughs> like you three. That yes. has the machine and yes. everything. Yes. Yeah, the COVID, yes. This is COVID-19. They don't allow you to fold in the place. No, so, you're, you don't oh, have the privilege okay. of living outside the city yet. Did I miss anything? I'm sorry, guys. I had to no, say. You didn't. You no, you didn't. No, you didn't. She didn't play the song yet? Not yet.
Beautiful, love it. Woman empowerment. Yes. That's a beautiful song. Woman empowerment. We need more bonding, right? Exactly. Yes. yes. Because women try to talk about their, you know, they have an empowerment movement, and but they're not doing it. They only do things for certain people. Yes. You know what I mean? They True. don't even look at some of the real people who need help. And that's why I mentioned earlier that this group, this movement is not about a certain, so I did say that earlier and we are ending on that note for real because it's yes. everybody, anybody from the young to the old, we're not segregating, we're not specializing, okay? Exactly. And I'm going to give you guys another sneak peek, which is just a sneak peek because we have to discuss this topic. Okay. okay. Mama hurt, mama hurt, mama hurt, mama hurt. How you see this mama hurt? Oh, mama hurt, mama hurt, mama hurt, mama hurt. How you see this mama hurt? Oh, you for slap her up. Oh, you for kick her up. Oh, you for beat her up and walk on the love her up. And mama hurt, mama hurt, mama hurt, mama hurt. How you feel this mama hurt? I'm little right, so strong woman. No, we had a foundation. Yes, woman right, and for me not to get it out. No matter what the situation. Mr. Right, so strong woman. No, we had a foundation. Let's do my right and for me not to get it out. No matter what the separation, I'm a set. I can't send it for water, but hold in a stone. Put your shoulder to the wheels are giving up. We no condone. So them say, we come from man with bone. Mother Earth, she's in la aviation. I feel the woman sing it loud. Feel the nails for you understand. Never put you on, but a woman that is wrong. The nine guns, the woman baby bang. And as she turned on and pushed the baby in a clam. It's a... Okay. Yes. Wow. wow. Oh that my God. That is amazing. Powerful. Powerful. Oh my yes. God. I'm not going the, going the, the dance song way. I'm going the one drop reggae way. 
I love yes. it. I, I that's what I, I was it. saying when I was listening yeah. to it. Like it's a, you know, it's it's you know, everybody, every artist, especially artists these days, especially females, it's all about listen, don't get me wrong. Like everybody's on the same. We, we have to have diversity. We have to have a mixture. You know, who wanted the dance hall? That's good. We love it because it's our culture. You understand? But you know, and you know what, Dana May? I mean, we're gonna be closing out soon, guys. But just to say this, you know who you sound like to me when I listen to you sing um today while we're on the phone. What's the girl named Ike IKEA? What's her name? The young artist, sir. Lila Ike. Leela, there you go. You sound so much like her when I was listening to you, the song that you were singing today. Yeah. Bad man, bad. So, you know, that's a good thing with this, um, this show, whatever you want to call it. You get a little bit of everything here. You, like I said, you're going to see special guests passing through, you know, people who are here to advise you, mentors, you know, you, you name it. Just get ready. We're going to have game nights, like I said. You know, um, we're going to allow you to join. We're going to put out information if you want to join and share your story. I want to be a part of our game, whatever. There's going to be that time as well. So it's not going to be something where it's, you're going to think, oh, they're coming with the same thing. No, watch out. Just yeah, watch it's different. Game. We're going to have special guests and everybody on. All right. One, so one thing, though. Are we allowed to share it? With the live when you're live, are we allowed to invite our friends to watch the live? Yes, you can. Yes, you yeah, can. Yeah, I you did. I'm launching a watch party right now on Facebook, so you can go ahead and share it too. And not only that, if you want them to join the Zoom, then you share the link I sent to you, or the member ID, or the password, or the link. You could just, I would rather you send the link to them, just the link, and they click on the link. Because I set the set it up where anybody, I already did that setup. So you just send the link to them, and they would be able to join us. Um, so we're, how do you know that we're on? We could have invited our first Facebook friends to watch. Um. Well, Facebook friends... Um. That's um, what I'm so you you'd have to go on my Facebook page and then share it on your page, and I'd have to add you to it. I'd have to to add you to it. So definitely, yes, it is fine. Because it's only two persons on your live, and then we all have Facebook friends as well. You see what I'm saying? Okay, I'm much, I'm much, I'm doing something right now. I'm doing something right now. Are you able to go on your Facebook? I'm actually on it. I was watching you. I was watching you guys. But right. while I'm on it, I only could see. All right, so I only, I, could see, I only could see you guys individually. All right, so yes, when we speak, that's how I said it. Um, I could change the setting, but I said it that no, when. No, you can't. No, you can't do that. You gotta set it that everybody see. You see the whole people. Um. Yeah, no, you gotta no, set no, it no, where no. you can see everybody together. That's yeah, fine. that is okay. Because it's a round table, you know. It's okay, not a... remember. Vanille have to go, guys. So uh, we got to close out soon and prior. Right. And I have to go also. Likewise. So, um, Vanille, Donna May, are we all here? I'm here. I'm here. We all here. Remember, I, I just put the phone up because, you know, my vision problem. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, guys, um, I just want to say thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules, um, ladies, to be, you know, on this movement to get the word out to everybody who is watching and, you know, listening. I'm very appreciative of that. Thank you again. And for all our viewers, um, you'll soon be able to subscribe as well, because like I said, big things coming. So thank you guys, and um, you'll see us soon. Um, just keep, stay tuned. And we're closing out now. So I just want to say, Heavenly Father, we just want to give you thanks. We just want to give you praise. We want to honor you, give you all the glory, because if it wasn't for you, this would not be possible. Thank you for the vision. And thank you for instilling individual visions among us ladies so that we could come together as a unit to have this movement going to inspire, to uplift others. I hope that today we have touched someone's life and you know they will understand what we're about and you know they also can share the word we just ask you to bless us bless us as a nation bless our household continue to give us insights and vision so that we can 
bring them out. They can be manifested and we can continue to do your work for serving your people and changing lives. As we go tonight, I ask you to guide us, watch over us and favor us in the name of the Holy and the Most Righteous One, Yahweh, Jesus, whoever you call him. Amen. 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 Okay, ladies, have a blessed and wonderful night. Thank you, Thank you, everyone. Okay, Bye. good night. Be tight. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.